Uh, oh, 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 big, big mistake, big mistake. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's go to, re to the replay review and then we can see if we can do something after. So the replay review is basically you're sending in the recorded games, me reviewing what they can do better in their game. I'm going to start first off with Jonah and then I'm going to do Harry after. I'm going to download his game here. So there's a blue guy. Astics against Britons here. He says his APM is pretty low, it's like 20. Okay, okay. So we're gonna go into Capture Age here. Gonna switch the screen. Then we're gonna study. It's a 1200 ELO. So if someone asks again in the chat, if some new people come, just say it's 1200 ELO. It's uh, Yellow, who is the Britons. And Jonah here. Who's playing as the Aztecs? And if you're playing Aztecs against Britons, you will have a civ advantage because this civ scales really well going Eagle Skirm from the beginning. So what we talked about earlier with Jonah was his idle TC, that was one thing. And then he also did like three ranges. Like uh, he did he did last time he played Britons, he went for long swords and archers, I think. Longsword crossbowmen against Britons. Which is basically just countered by enemy longswords. First mistake that I could see here was uh, this build placement. It's a minor one, but it matters. If you have 3x3 three three on the berries, place the mill like this. Easier to take it. Foreign wood is fine, especially if you're Aztecs. You can go for a barracks quite early and you can go drush, for example. You can also just... Yeah, your resource will be pretty good, regardless. Pretty standard build order, going for on berries, and the boar is at 90 foot, which is time to take your second boar now, ASAP. Getting in a dare though, so you can compensate a little bit that with that, he can take everything on the dare while doing the other boar, so that's fine. But I gotta start taking the boar quite urgently. And I hope he sends these to the deer, yes he did. If he went on the sheep, then that would be a mistake again, because you want to save these four sheep for the feudalage. Going now for the barrack, it seems, or a house. I'm not really sure which one. But the ILTC is pretty good there. It's only 9 seconds. Pretty nice. So that's good. And the build order seems okay. Luring deer as well is super important. Opponent is also luring deer. 1200 elo. Then going to explore. Luring one deer, exploring is good. If you start in, uh, actually a little tip, so if you start in the corner, just start exploring like this. It could be nice. You don't really need one, you don't really want to start scattering like down here, but you found his opponent nicely, so that's good. Like, usually when you're playing Arabia, your opponent spawns right across from you. If you, sp if you spawn down here, your opponent usually spawns up here. If you spawn up here, your, your opponent usually spawns down here, and so on. But uh, it's not always like that, but mostly like that. I was taking the boar and going for the sheep, nice. And also preparing a drush. I like the drush, it's not a bad idea. It's just gotta get three militia out and uh, it's going to be okay. Also got uh, no loom on the villagers, so gotta mine a bit of gold. Going for this many militia is not really necessary because it's gonna delay a few village a lot. This mining camp is also a mistake. Mining camp should always be one tile away from the gold. We have talked about this when reviewing other people too. And the sheep should always be prepared to take a next. Yeah, the drush needs to be... Like, if you're making a drush, just go attack. Never play defensive with drush unless you know he's coming with something. I mean, it might have been explored here that he had a barracks and now he just wants to defend. Which is fair enough, but I would rather scout around with the eagle and go attack. Like, I would never play defensive drush. The Viper once told me never play defensive men arms, for example, and things like that. Unless you really know that they're coming and the situation fits for it. But right here, hitting him with a drush would be nice. But I also see the reason why he wants to have them at home. He wants to be safe while walling. Should he full wall so early? I don't I don't hate it. If he, let's see his game plan first, right? Maybe he wants to fast castle. Full walling early could be fine. This map is really not like... If I had this map, I wouldn't go for full walls early though. Because this map is super hard to wall. I would rather play aggressive. 
Okay, yellow losing scout like that. That's huge. Like, there's already a big advantage. Rush coming in and the defensive rush is already there. But, like I said, defensive rush, I'm never a big fan, honestly. Yeah, you should have put a mill here. Alright, nice cleanup though. Yellow taking a bad fight. So now, after cleaning up, you have to go aggressive, right? Just send the army forward, even if it's viewed lich. There's no need to stay defensive with the Dresh patrolling back and forth now. Just send everything forward. Get exploration, what he's doing. He's going for a stable. If you just saw that, you could have Spearman. You have full walls. Like, the base is almost fully walled. The Dresh has been cleaned up. It's not like your opponent has 10 archers all of a sudden now. So now we just have to send forward. Like, this is very uh, uh, not not good though. Let's check the idle TC. Really good job on the TC. Super nice. He's not killing himself. Always producing wills. Perfect. But the mining camp here hurts. And yeah, almost fully walled. Now moving out. But since he waited so long, then it can be po could be possible that. You don't hear game sound? Guys, you don't hear game sound? Oh, now you should hear. Thank you for telling me now, guys. You, you, it, it's the same shit last time. You could hear dragon. You told me an imp or something. I, it's been going for 14 minutes and now you say you can't hear the game sound. <laughs> Alright, so try to find a way in. There's no way in now, it's just, yeah. Like, like I said, the reason why is he not in is because after he cleaned up the drush, it's just going back and forth. But yeah, he's doing the right thing now, he's going skirms and he's going through archers. I wouldn't mind adding some eagles, he's adding a spearman. And honestly, the spearman is kind of useless. To have defensively, it's full walls, scouts can't get in. You see in the stable, that's probably why he had the spears. But yeah, there's no reason to add the spears right now. Second barracks. Don't like that either. Like in this case, there's no reason to add second barracks. Your opponent's full walled, you're full walled. Now you gotta focus on economy, right? You don't wanna add a second barracks there for no reason. Like you can't really produce from both of them anyway just yet. So we just gotta focus on making... Uh... Thank you so much for the one dollar. Go dragon. Appreciate it. So yeah, instead of adding second barracks there, we just gotta focus on going more farms, getting more economy up, and then going for the cast stage faster. Like the opponent doesn't have that much military himself, like he also had a mistake by making blacksmith at this point, you don't need that. But he is uh, having a lot more food. Why is he having so much food? I can't really say. Both the upgrades, both the upgrades, that's good. Quite a lot of idle towns and run. I might be idling just to go up to castage, that's fine. But also I would say not very needed because there's no rush right now to get up to castage. Yeah, it's good that they have both on the eco upgrades actually. This idle TC is hurting a lot. There's no reason to idle right now. But uh, yeah, like I said, the second barracks was not needed at all. As you guys can see, he hasn't produced any military unit from this these barracks ever since he created them. These this barrack could have been three farms, for example, which could have uh, enabled him to go castage faster. Also, you have an eagle in the queue now, in the barracks, which means that you don't have the gold to go up. And now we're queuing up a lot of things instead of going castage. This is a big mistake. Big, big mistake. Just keep idling the TC, making a lot of upgrades, queuing up units. I, Oh, I think he maybe thought he clicked up. This could be it. Maybe he thought he clicked up, started to do upgrades, and then realized he didn't, and then clicked up. Yeah, yeah. I, I've done that, but it, 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 that might be the case. But if it wasn't, then you should never have done what you did. Or he should have done never, never done what he did. Uh, but as you can see, with this mining camp right now, 
the villagers are working super inefficiently, they have to walk around each other. While when he has one tile gap here, the villagers are working much smoother. So this is why you always want a one tile gap with the mining camp. And when you have a lumber camp, you always want to build it closer. Because wood finishes much faster than gold. So resources that finishes fast, you want to put your eco building close to the resource. Resource that finish slow, put one tile away. Yeah, there was a lot of idle there. He had been doing really well though. The whole feudal age, making vills until until that point. The opponent now is going for archers. Jonah here has a bunch of skirms and archers and could take a fight here. Let's see the upgrades, no fletching though, so you don't really want to fight here, especially against a Briton archer, you can just hit and run. But the opponent is not doing that good job of, of microing right now. Jonah's plan here is to go eagles, which I approve of. Eagles are really good against uh, against the Britons, and also I think that Jonah should have should have gone for skirmishers. The pikemen must be a misclick, 100%. I don't see the reason of doing pikemen upgrade here. I mean, maybe he saw the double stable and went for pikes, but he could just go full eagle and go for monk. Not agreeing with pikemen upgrade. There's a lot of resources in the bank, you could even go for a sec, yeah, I mean, you could even go for Eagle upgrade right now. I see Seattle doing nice, yes, but uh, I think uh, just massing your Eagles would be just fine, and also like a Monastery in the back. The Pikemen, fair enough as well. And I like this, he's making Pikes, and he's sending out two Villagers to build uh, something aggressive. Forward seed shop probably, and a monastery potentially. The yellow is just taking terrible trades here. Which is super good. So this game is uh, over now if Jonah plays this perfectly. Uh, when you're playing like this, and uh, with four barracks, I wouldn't recommend adding town centers. I would just recommend going full push. And also sending way more to gold. Like if you're playing this strategy, you can put all these guys away from the food. And put another mining camp. But since he's making pikes, I don't know. It's hard for me to know why we got into this stage of Britons making full knights anyway. And suddenly we have full pikes on the table, but yeah. Rams. Do I hate it? Do I love it? I will go Mangonels. There are a lot of pikes on the field. They can back up the rams. It could work. But then you need maybe two rams. So very little wood in the bank right now for another ram. Mangonel could just put insta pressure on this TC. I like the houses behind the walls. That's really good. Because then it's hard for yellow to break in. That's a really nice addition there. Villager gather point has been sent to Narnia by accident. So now we are producing vills with a very bad gather point. I, I, I've has, I have seen that before, but uh, yeah, it's bad when it happens. Looks like he's fixed it now and sending back the vills. At this point, I would just probably just put a mining camp on this gold. Why, why not? Yellow starting to break in. Jonah has a lot of pikemen here ready to defend. And just focus on the attack right now. Sending pikes in the ramps, really like that. And now we see yellow just adding crossbowmen. And these pikes are kind of useless. And since he has so little on gold, he can't really produce those eagles to get that really nice mix in. And those pikes are trying to garrison into ramps that. Oh, what? You know, I, I think he used that garrison feature. That like seeks shelter, you know what I mean? And the pikes are trying to garrison into the ram that's in the siege shop. Is that actually a thing? Is that a thing, guys? It really looked like they tried. 
Right, so we've got really good upgrades. Just add eagles here now. The, the knights are in, which is a bit a uh, bit of a pickle. Could have repaired the gate, could have put some houses behind there. Didn't really have to cause this mess. And the idle TC is a bit huge, right? This idle TC is uh, six, seven villagers, almost eight villagers already. It's eight villagers already, so it really hurts. This ramp push is really good, but we need more eagles in there. And yeah, only five on gold hurts. If you had eight more wheels on gold, Instead of that island TC. Could be really good. Kettle just adds another TC, but uh, this is good damage though. Kill the town center, killing a lot of... Uh, killing a lot of wills. But like I said, like... like This whole thing could have been so much easier if uh, Blue just went for... For full eagles. And full on gold. You can even just add some monks if you're scared of knights. Don't need to upgrade pikes at all. Especially against the Britons, when you're going for barracks. So now we're in a big pickle, the forward is getting cleaned up by crossbowmen. This fight might be won by the eagles here. Because yellow is not microing a lot. It's plus two knights though. And this raid here could have been avoided easily by two houses being put, put behind the gates really fast. Adding militia, I think it's a misclick. Or he wants to switch into long swords, which he did uh, another time, but I don't think this is the case. Hello, Daniela, what's up? Alright, so yellow's just running around with knights, pikes are chasing, and there's a huge fight taking here. Like, this is a really good fight for Jonah, actually. He has so much army here. And now he's got the eagle upgrade. And the eagle upgrade can be really, really nice. The knight, I think in this fight you need to focus on the army and then you can focus on the villagers afterwards. Because what happened now is that the army focused on the villas and they got cleaned up instead of just cleaning up the army first. Yes, wreck review time, yeah. So a lot of pikes and a lot of eagles in the base ready to push out, but like you said, like I said earlier, it wasn't enough on gold, so you can't really produce that many. And now there's no gates there, so the army is stuck inside the base. You can see now that yellow has a mix of crossbowmen and knight. And the more he gets, the harder he's gonna get to, to kill her, so... He has the market, sold the stone, I like it. Q more eagles. Like... Before you take an engagement head, you, you have to make sure that you have enough eagles to clean out the crossbowmen. You can't just uh, engage this army. Just gotta run back and mess up eagles. So now we are just wasting a lot of pikes. Also, really important to re renew lumber camps, especially when they're like this. Now the eco is working very inefficiently. They're also getting stuck between the palisades here. So a new lumber camp. I like that he added a new mining camp. And a new mining camp here couldn't be too bad. But like I said, wait with the fight until there's enough eagles on the field. Yellow yeah, doesn't have that much army. It's 29 army to 12 army right now, which is quite huge. Uh, but yellow is being annoying with knights and they're sending them in. This could have been avoided with a gate, but it should have been fine. It should be fine regardless. The problem is that uh, Blue or Jonah here is not really reacting to this army. He's not having a little bit of pikes at home. He could easily have just two, three pikes sitting at home. And now there's ri uh, knights running around raiding. Eagle's addition is good though. Maybe just another siege of time after cleaning this up. Yellow doesn't have good eco. He's everything is garrisoned in his town. And he's struggling as well. But he has way more villagers though. But the thing is that Aztec is kind of an all-in save. They can live, they can still survive with 45 uh, villagers quite easily. These knights are doing hella damage though. Like we said, or, uh, or like we seen earlier, yellow isn't that good at dealing with this army. And the, the army gets cleaned up nicely. Nice raid coming in here for Jonah. Yellow's on 4 military. So even if he has 20 more bills, the damage can be done here. And this is where you want to see another siege shop maybe, where you have the advantage. Oh, another bad gather point. I'm not sure what's happening, what's going on with these gather points? It's the second time this happened. 
It's a big raid though, spreading everything out. This is gonna hurt yellow a lot. This is really nice raids. Small groups, every uh, every side of the base. And uh, yellow's gonna struggle here now. This is the power of the Aztecs. But I really don't like the amount of pikes we have. This is this is not necessary, especially against Britons. Just need the, those pikes should be in eagles and all the wood villagers should have been on gold and everything like that. Yeah, this is good army control. This is insane rates. All of yellow's eco is idle right now. Like, in all fairness, yellow should add knights in this case. He also has 13 crossbows queued up. But if he had yellow added knights here, then Jonah would be... His raid would be really screwed up. While his raiding fixes his army, like, this is... This is weird, like... Armies running back and forth and... Like, when you're in this position, when you took a lot of damage... You have to send everything forward. You have to go damage a lot. Surprised yellow, big, yellow has big score rate. When the opponent raids and loses army in the base... The opponent who's defending usually gets a bigger score lead. Because of uh, KD. Like, kill, he's killing army. He also has a nice villager lead with handcart. But he's down to 50 vills now, so the villager count has equalized. So what Jonah is doing a bit wrong here is that he's... Uh, he's got some villagers running randomly, he's got army running randomly back and forth, and... Like I said, the pikeman was, was quite a big mistake, but now he's switching into full eagles, which is good. And they're also way cheaper, right? Yeah, yellow has everything with the economy almost. So now we can probably jump and I think Mangalos is the best thing, not Rams. So I let's see if he's adding Mangalos right now. Yeah, like Eagle play is so scary for Britons to deal with. Stock army here. Should move them. They're also blocking the gold income, which is not ideal. Another mining camp. Finally. Good, good. And now we just mess up a, a push. Hard to mess up a push after Eco took uh, such a hit, but he's got a good balance. But Ram, not a fan. If he has Magnus instead on the hill, and against crossbow and everything, it's much better. Why is it making pikes against Britain without any... He had two stable knight production, to be fair. But I think still he should have gone Eagles. Yeah, it was on five town center boom now. So the clock is ticking, we have to do damage fast. And since he's all in, just put everything on the gold and the food and a little bit of wood. And produce eagles like crazy. Which he's doing, but pike still. Not necessary, especially against all these crossbows. So it's a little bit of decision making here being wrong. I understand why he wants to put rams, I mean eagles in the rams and all that, but... I really, really big fan. Nice raid here. Though. A lot of army from Jonah though. 36 to 20. This is what can be good. I would prefer Magnus. I, I can't stress that enough. Alright, so really nice that he's sending more villagers to gold. He also keeps producing villagers now while attacking. Which is really good. Really good sign of multitasking that... He is producing villagers and attacking at the same time. Although he's only from one TC, it's still good that he's producing. And not, he's not having as much idle as last time. Actually. So, villagers attacking the ramps now, the army will jump out. And this could be a huge fight for Jonah, and I, I li really like this. Distraction move. Attacking here with this army, number one. Attacking in here with army number two. And trust me, yellow will not see this coming. He will be so focused there, he's so stressed. Yellow is so stressed right now. He doesn't see the raid coming here, and now Jonah is making a huge comeback. Yellow is trying to put a castle on the front here, but he's losing all the army. And this is really nice attack. Look at this raid. This is really good move. And he's also denying the castle. Yellow is in full panic mode. He hasn't seen the raid up here at all. Uh, Yellow has been doing a good job with the boom, that's uh, that's why. If you're asking how. 
It's a really good attack though. 49 wheels now to 56 and he's on 5 town centers guys. So see the eagles, it should have been there from the start, even if he had knights. If you see that, if you are making eagles, okay, as Aztecs, and your opponent is going knights, you're like, thank you very much, I'm going to go a couple of monasteries to convert those knights. It's harder when the uh, opponent has a lot of crossbow and goes knights at the same time, and it gets more difficult, but sometimes you just gotta stick to eagles, then make pikes later. It's usually too expensive as well to go a lot of pikes in the beginning. The castle might go up here though. The ramps are there, the pikes are there, the eagles are here. The eagles are raiding on the back. Yeah, so that was a really good distraction, like first in the beginning there, and then sending a second army in here to attack. And also producing, always producing villagers behind. So good, so good. I, I really like to see that, that he's not idling the TC. Because that means... He's actually getting big value of his attacks. I oh, just still have 500 score because he's killing a lot of army. But now it's down to 46 wheels. Yellow is holding well, I have to say. Not not too bad. Not too bad at all. Make farms. He doesn't need to make that many farms, he just needs to keep pushing. He could also sell wood at this point to keep more, get more gold. Uh, in this early game here, wood is still like, 100 wood is 70 gold. So when you're floating 1000 wood, you always want to just use the market and get uh, more eagles out on the field. Yellow now is doing something good, he's defending with castles, which makes the push for Jonah here way harder and it's also on, still on four or five town centers pumping villages with hand carts so it's still dangerous position there if jonah stops this castle could be really nice i i really like to loop around to raid but i really don't like that we don't replace the lumber camps here and i think like honestly after all the eco damage done this is really important guys if you're going all in and you finally did a shit ton of damage to your opponent that you're even like ahead in wheels with one TC. You know what you gotta start doing then? You gotta start adding your own town centers. So what Jonah could have done here was cancelling some egos, buying 200 stone, putting a town center on the stone here, putting a town center out here, and start expanding his economy. While still producing army. Because the whole thing about the uh, all in, like one TC push against three TC push, is to stop economy from your opponent. And once that job is done, you have to start booming yourself. Huang, Huang Rush, for example. Let's let's take Huang as an example. He goes for like all in Kelt Rush. He goes all in for like five minutes, and if he kills opponent's TC, he doesn't stick to his one TC no villager production. As soon as Huang kills the town center, he adds his own town centers to suddenly start booming. So he, Huang goes from no villager production to three TC production. And once you have lost your TC against him, you cannot come back from that. So same in this situation, after killing him down to 40 villagers, he should have added town centers right away. He, like, he should have done this while he was raiding. And not, uh, not like this. So now we're still stuck on one town center, and the opponent is getting castles up while still having 5 TCs. And when your opponent is getting castles up in his base, and you're both castle age, you can't do anything about castles. I mean, you can make ramps, but it's so easy to hold. Wait for the extra gold there. Don't really know why we're just not taking that one. But it's fine. Like, here... Okay, so he's, he's got one choice here. It's either go Imperial Age with one TC and send some villagers to stone and try to trap or he starts to boom right now but if he doesn't make if he doesn't boom now he's gonna end up too far behind i think at least but he's trying to raid on the sides which is fine
Also, going for the extra gold is good, but you also need to take your own gold there, though. And with the map control he had, he could have taken relics a while ago. But that's... I don't really expect that from a 1200 to go take relics. So we're just gonna... Avoid that. Not in a chaotic game like this, at least. Then you don't go for relics. That's too, that's too overkill. <coughs> So I'm not really sure how the game develops from here. I, I struggle to see Jonah doing enough damage to to be able to break this right now. Yellow is now st stabilized with two castles in his economy. And Jonah's still on his all-in. So the biggest mistake, like I said, was not making economy after he did that all that eco damage. It's 1200 ELO jo Joa. Nah, I can't all in the castle, really. Not when the opponent has knights around and... Yeah. Damn, that's... <laughs> that's a castle. If I was coaching yellow now, I wouldn't put a castle there. This is a for the raids. Jonah is now going for the plus two on the Egos. I'm not sure what we're trying to achieve right now. Opponent has too big defense for, for us to push. It has to be Imperial Age. 100%. And now we're starting to get 2,000 scorely behind. That's huge. And opponent is just booming with 5,000 center. And Jonah is still on one. 6,000 centers. Yeah, 6. And now there's no plan anymore. I think I think he had a good plan, but now that opponent got castles up. Yeah, they're gonna reach him at the same time even, and when you're 30 village, villagers behind. <coughs> I don't see how this is gonna work. This is a good find though. A lot of bills could die here. There's 15 eagles in the queue. I would just focus on going Imperial Age now and you see the all these bills on stone. Now we just need to go in. Like, how else are we gonna kill the castles? When your opponent has castles all over the place. You don't wanna keep going all in castle age. You need to go in Imperial Age and get those traps out. Maybe take control of a hill or something. The opponent's sending everything back. Try to deal with the Eagles. Attacking the castle with the Eagles. Fair enough. I don't I don't have anything to say against it. Okay. I see Imperial Age. I like it. Opponent is on 40 food. There's still a chance here, because when Imp comes in, we can get elite Eagles and Traps, and Britons can really struggle against that, unless they have Log Swords on the field. And look at all the eco damage! Oh my god, he's down to 78, 76 wills again! Yellow man! He didn't garrison here. Does he have the buildings? He had the siege, there we go, he's making the buildings here now. Fair enough. And there's still hope here, because Jonah still has the extra gold, he still has this gold. And what you need with uh, with uh, Aztecs is to to have a lot of gold. I actually could see a comeback happening. This castle? This castle? Don't like it. I will put the castle here. In range for the traps here, and more central control. This... Side castle is not doing anything. Nothing at all. Alright, I speed it up to Imp. Usually our, the game should be only be 50 minutes, so... Speed it up, there's a lot of things to, to take here. Now the boom is starting a bit more, that's good. Relics could be gathered. Now the gold is like getting really low here. So relics could have been gathered. Let's put in castle here instead, which is fair enough, but try to make it on a hill. Like on this hill in that case, for example. Could have been better. Uh, oh, oh, big, big mistake, big mistake. Okay, okay, okay. You're imp soon. In one second, zero seconds even. And you're throwing all the army away into castle and crossbowmen. This army is so much better with plus 4 armor and elite eagle. So always try to save your army before him.
You don't want to throw them away like this. It might have been a, uh, uh, a slip up. You might have been looking somewhere else. But now, with only one or two town centers and nothing really going on in the base, this should be your prioritized like, check where you have your army. Losing so many now. He's down to 20 eagles. He had like 30, 40. And also, all, really important to get the plus 4 armor. Really nice. Okay, perfect. Elite Eagle plus 4 armor. There's still chances here. Honestly. But the traps has to come out. Gotta get rid of opponent cast. And this is where you have to like... Like, one castle is enough to produce traps. You have to hurry up. You know your opponent has a lot of score, a lot of economy. You need to get this castle down. This is where you honestly just sell all the stone for gold. Keep producing a lot of eagles. It, yellow likes TCs, yeah. He's a BF player for sure. Respectfully. Alright, so only one gold left. The timer is on. Trying to put a cast there on extra gold. Not, to, not too bad attempt, but not gonna work. If you're not making traps, you will never push. The Imperial Age is not only for the Eagles, but also for Trebuchets. If you're not making traps, you will never gain ground, you will never win the game. Yellow, Yellow's also got forward relics. Five forward relics. Imagine if we had traps. Killing this castle, taking those five relics. Keep spamming Eagles. Yeah, so losing the, losing the army before him was... Was not ideal. Nice raid on the side, but... It's only 80 bills from yellow. He has like a million thousanders, but it's only 80 bills. The trap is out at least, but look at all the army yellow has now. Full longbowman. Gonna need a lot of eagles to take this fight. The yellow responded well to the raid star, although he didn't garrison a lot. He responded okay -ish. And oh, this is really bad. Bad situation, I mean. I don't think this is comebackable right now. Another castle there. And look, it's the only gold that's left and there's no way we have eco to switch into any any skirm or anything. The yellow's just spamming units now, he's up to 115 wheels. Castle's gonna go down. Jonah calling his inner ACCM here. This game is super over. And GG called. Boy oh boy oh boy. What can I say about this game? I love that he didn't idle the TC as much in early Feudal Age. He then idled his TC to go up, and I think he started to do upgrades before, because I think he thought he was up. But okay, then he made 4 barracks, which was good. It was pretty good actually, and then if he made 4 barrack eagles and siege up, and maybe a monastery, it would have been insane against the knights. But since he went, for, like remember that Britons doesn't have bloodlines knights, right? So if he goes full eagles, it's perfectly fine against the knights, and as long as he has huge numbers, it's okay. Like mass up enough. If you see you cannot engage the knights, go back and then maybe add some pike in. But never just go full pike. And especially if you see your opponent starting to switch into crossbowmen. Have to get those egos out. So that was a big mistake, keeping only 5 on gold while going forward with Aztec. 1 TC push, you just gotta get like 15-20 on gold, the rest in a little bit of food and wood. And push from there. So the pikemen wasn't like, he made too many pikemen. And honestly, like I said, just monks is fine. Could have taken some relics while pushing, but it's really hard for a 1200 to do that. So don't blame him for that. And yeah, that was the main thing. The idle TC did really well this time. 
he didn't kill himself. After the raid was complete, it was really important for Aztec Sarah to add more town centers. He had the market up, he had like 1000 wood. Could easily just queue away some eagles, buy 200 stone, put a, a TC here, put a TC here, 3 TC, boom. Castle drop faster to imp, start trebbing, spamming eagles. That's the play there, 100%. But instead, when yellow was down to like 45 wills and he had like 56, he stayed on one town center, he then again fell behind in wills, and then he couldn't push yellow anymore because yellow started putting up castles. And since he only was on one TC after that, he could not, he could not, he could not push anymore. And he couldn't win. So that was the big thing in this game. After, if you're all in, is doing a lot of eco damage, start adding eco yourself. If you're all in, is not doing any economy and you're doing eco, then you're gonna get outboomed because your opponent will already be ahead of you in eco. So all in pushes needs to do economy damage 100%, or else you're screwed. All right, anything else to say? Of course, like, like I mentioned earlier, mining camps need to be worked on and everything else like I mentioned during the game needs to have a little work on. Other than that, really like the army control though, like raiding or attacking here, raiding on the side, the huge damage. Usually lower rated players cannot focus on a lot of things at the same time, especially not a big fight and getting raided on the side. That was really nice. There was many chances of blue to make economy actually. I think he damaged yellow two times down to 40 wills or something and then he could have had chance to make his own economy. So he, he gotta take these chances and make eco. Okay, okay. Going for Harry's game now. Thank you Jonah for sending in a recorded game. And now we're gonna watch Harry. I think he played arena. Damn it Harry, you always, you always disappoint. 